Manslave. That's M-A-N-S-L-A-V-E. And I run the Validation Warfare YouTube channel. I'd like to introduce myself to Barbarossa, who is one of my favorite YouTube users, a very intelligent, uh, diligent, wise, and acutely understanding uh, man. He is... Uh, I just watch one of his videos, and uh, well, you know what? I'm just going to address it to you, Barbarossa. You're one of my favorite user, uh, YouTube users, uh, YouTube uh, uh, personalities, I'd say, because me and my colleague, which right now he's going by the uh, the name of uh, the Disposable Human Doing, and you may have seen him in. Um, my videos and so forth. Uh, he's got glasses, but he's got black hair, unlike me. <clears throat> and uh, he's uh, <laughs> he's pretty hardcore. And uh, we're both fans of you, Barbarossa. And we don't think you're extreme. We don't think you're stupid. We don't think you're crazy or anything like that. We think you got the answers. Uh, we slot them. I mean, basically, Barbarossa, you're like a demigod upon this planet Earth, like a gift to humanity. To help wake them up and understand the way. I mean, it's just like, I can't feel like, <clears throat> I feel like we can't kiss your ass enough. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a bit of a cold. Uh, and I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. Uh, Barbarossa, um, I mean, just, I think it was April of this year, 2012, when I first found your video, the, uh, the post, uh, the post-feminism man, or a post-feminist man. Brilliant. A brilliant piece of, uh, <laughs> of, um, of, um, of, of information that you, you gave. I mean, it's just like the manifesto of how men should be now. I mean, you just, now, some people might regard you, Barbarossa, as an extremist. You, you know, you're aware. And my um, my response to them, who think that you're some wacko extremist, they need to get clues what they need to do. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I mean, Barbarossa, you're very respectable. You're very hardcore. In some instances, I think you, you don't go exactly far enough in your own direction. But maybe that's just, you know, the limitations of what you express in your videos. Uh, you're very knowledgeable, you're very wise, you're intelligent. You put great effort into expressing your points. <clears throat> I'm glad that you do what you do, and so is my colleague, the Disposable Human Doing. Uh, we're great admirers of yours. We feel like we're fanboys to you. <laughs> Whatever, how, however that makes you feel. Um, and it's like an honor to have your subscription on my channel, for, that, that you subscribe to my uh, Validation Warfare YouTube channel, and all that, I subscribe to uh, your channel, I uh, think you're a great person, uh, like I said, you're like, you're like a demigod here to show us all the way, and it just, I don't know exactly how to express it, um, uh, but I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you my goals. I, I regard myself as men going their own way, or a man going his own way. <clears throat> uh, I regard myself as an elite MIGTO, uh, elite men going their own way. Uh, you know, no respect to you, Bar or no disrespect to you, Barbarossa. I mean, like you talk about how you you get laid any time that you want. Well, that's your business. That's fine and all that, um, maybe you just are expressing a point to these people that say that you're just some bitter guy that, that can't get laid, and I, I doubt that you are, I mean, like, I've seen a, a brief glimpse of you in one of your videos, uh, it was when you were, uh, you had the night vision camera on, <laughs> uh, just anybody watching out there, Barbarossa, he, he's not some ugly neck beard loser or whatever uh, he looks like he could get laid anytime he wants and getting laid doesn't look like it's a challenge to him okay but that's not what's important see me and my colleague the disposable human doing and uh, <clears throat> we don't feel like getting laid is important I mean like we, we talk about like if we were offered sex I mean 
we would, I mean, like, we'd think about it, and it just, it just doesn't seem appealing. I mean, like, why settle for sex? I mean, like, uh, just, just to anybody, not just you, Barbarossa, but, I mean, like, this is from, uh, you know, me and uh, my colleagues' uh, perspective. And just, even sex is losing its appeal. I mean, yeah, it's great, right? Everybody knows it feels great. And that's not the issue. Even, let's say, hypothetically, if me and my colleague were going to have sex with a woman, that means that we're going to have to be in close proximity to her and, and have to put up with her bullshit for, like, however long it takes. You know what I'm saying? Is sex even worth it? I mean, that's why I regard myself as elite MGTOW. I mean, I have superficial conversations with my, uh, you know, female co-workers or any female, really. Uh, I mean, uh, like Stardust can mention, you know, give them a wide berth when you're walking around them somewhere. Uh, <coughs> yeah, that's what we do. We don't even really pay any attention to it because they're not worth it. I mean, we know how they are. Barbarossa, you're very intelligent, you're wise, you know how women are, I mean, psychologically. I mean, I don't hate women, and I don't think you or really anybody else does. I mean, regardless of how people talk about it or whatever. I mean, we don't really hate women. It's just, like, well, I'll just put it this way. There are no butterflies anymore. Uh, when I look at a girl, I, I don't get butterflies in my stomach anymore like I used to. It just, I know how they are now. And you can kind of see it play out in a movie, a real good movie called, um, Bill's Gun Shop, <laughs> where a, a, a typical nice guy, a stereotypical nice guy, very submissive, very nice, polite, courteous, everything. And he gets fucked over, and um, he just he gets manipulated by women, and he catches on, and he understands what's really important to him: the self-esteem boost, ego boost, uh, forms of validation. Um, that's why I named my channel Validation Warfare, because that's what a lot of the gender war entails. And, um, you, you gotta understand my background. Um, I've been, oh gosh, I'm 32 years old now. <clears throat> and right now it's, um, uh, it's October 19th, 2012, so, you know, a few more months and I'll be 33. But anyway, I mean, in the first three decades of my life, I was such a mangina, um, sometimes a white knight. I believe that girls were full of sugar and spice and everything nice, and I had these little pinpricks of understanding of, uh, well, just where I was given these instances of, um, of, uh, you know, I was mistreated a bunch by females, uh, and I, I regard it as mistreated because they would regard it as mistreated if they were treated that way. Um, I got a love letter some girl sent or wrote to me back in uh, 1998, that was 14 years ago, well, Fourteen and a half years ago. Anyway, um, where she says she wants to see me undressed, all the you know the really obvious flirting things and all that. I mean, I'm I'm so sick of this shit where where girls will flirt with you, and you know, hypothetically you, you know a, a person. They'll, they'll flirt with you until you become interested. Then then when you become interested or express interest, then they act like it's a fucking problem. You know, it's like, oh, he, he, he must try to rape me, man. No, most guys like. Like, rape is something unthinkable to them. They're not even interested. And right now, I'm in correspondence, uh, correspondence with a bigot by, uh, who calls herself the Thometheist, which is the love child of Adolf Hitler and Valerie Solanas. <clears throat> and she is very radical feminist, um, very much. Uh, even more than uh, Anita Sarkeesian, uh, which was already bigoted enough. Um, Barbarossa, I don't know if you're familiar with the Prometheus, but she's just, oh my gosh. I mean, when she, she, when she writes to me on, uh, on YouTube, she seems pretty cool, you know, I mean, she, you know, she's bigoted, but she seems pretty cool about it and interacts with me and, and treats me with respect or whatever, but she makes these videos the most corrosive shit, the, the just, oh my gosh, the most offensive stuff that a guy could possibly hear. I mean, she calls for the extermination of 99% of the male population for the only long-term solution for peace and prosperity. Anyway, I take on these people um, and all that. Um, I just want to introduce myself to you, Barbarossa. 
and the reason why me and my colleague, the disposable human, uh, the, the disposable human doing, um, I think you know us on Facebook, and um, I, uh, you know, I just want to give you some background on me and why I regard myself as elite mig toe, not just a men, not just a mig toe, like man going his own way or men men going their own way, but an elite mig toe. I mean, and just like to just cut out women out of my life as much as possible. Uh, no relationships, definitely no marriage. Um, not even a one night stand or a fling. I mean, that's not even appealing because it rewards, and see here's the reason why, because it rewards women. At least then they can get sex out of you. You know, I mean, you talk about in your video the, um, the, um, um, the post-feminism man and, you know, how, how male female interactions have been reduced down to their most primitive level which is sexuality and that's true you made a very good point uh, but why reward them I mean women are such sexual creatures anyway even more than men and I've read uh, some of Esther Villers book the um, the, uh, <coughs> the manipulated man and I'm only about a third of the way through the book and oh gosh it's good I mean, it's a good, it's not even in there. Uh, it's a very good book, and, uh, oh gosh, Esther Villar is like, she's like the oracle from the Matrix. Um, I got her book right here, came on this e-reader, this Kobo Wi-Fi um, e-reader. I don't know how well you can see that, but there's uh, this uh, screen from it. Uh, I, I love this electronic ink, you know, this device is turned off, but yet it still displays an image. Um, I'm about a third of the way from the book. Just some of the titles, such as Children as Hostages. Esther Villar is like, oh my gosh, she's an amazing person. And she totally criticizes women so bad. Like, like anybody that's watching our videos, uh, that includes your, you, Barbarossa, or me, or, you know, um, or, or Stardust, or anything like that. I mean, if, if people think that you and I criticize women really bad and hate women, which you know we don't. Anyway, Esther Villar is so hardcore and she puts men on this sky high pedestal. And she basically makes this argument of why you know, why do men waste their time with women? Um, why don't they just leave women behind? <clears throat> and Esther Villar is brilliant. I got her book, The Manipulated Man, like I said, it uh came on my e-reader. It just came on there when I bought it. It was part of the 100 um, public domain books or whatever. And, uh, you know, and that's the Kobo e-reader. Um, and that's a Canadian company, Kobo. I guess they like her stuff, whatever. They put it on the e-reader. I mean, I didn't put it on there. I mean, that's just the way it came from the factory. <clears throat> it was really good. I just want to tell you, Barbarossa, you're a great person. You're very, uh, you're, you're a very intelligent man. You're a man, a real man. I mean, you don't even have to go out. I mean, well, I'm just saying, like, you know, the, the Batman shooting in it. He was a real man. He died for us, man. No, Barbarossa, you're a valuable person. You're a, it just. I, I feel like I can't show my appreciation enough for what you've done. Uh, you and Girl Writes What, um, Stardusk, uh, Man, Woman, Myth. Oh, I'm so glad that you um, encouraged him to do his, his uh, documentary project. It was great. It was excellent. Um, yeah, you, Barbarossa, Girl Writes What, Man, Woman, Myth. I mean, and, and, our, and also Stardusk are like uh, four major pillars of an, an enlightenment movement among men. <clears throat> and, you know, like, uh, people think that we need to let women aboard. No, we don't. We don't need any... Uh, women caused enough fucking problems. I mean, and if feminism was really honestly about equality, then I'd be on board for feminism. But it's not. It's not. I mean, and, and Barbara says people like you and me and other people like Stardust, maybe even Rocking Mr. E, um... I know how that sounds, but anyway, uh, that cynical cynicism, he's a great guy, I'm in uh, contact with him, 
Uh, he makes some good videos, and I, I encourage people to watch his stuff because he's he's pretty good. And um, anyway, we will succeed where the feminists have failed in regards to implementing equality. My goal is to show women it's like you will get your shit together, or else you will be on your fucking own. I mean, it's about damn time you stop with all this fucking greed, manipulation, deception, sexual harassment shit, because I, oh gosh, the, the, the amount of sexual harassment bullshit I've had to deal with in my life, going back 20 years, happened to basically hate my gender ever since I was a kid, and <clears throat> always having a guilty conscience, even before I took an interest in girls, or be I didn't even get my first date until two weeks after my 30th birthday. I was so passive and respected women's space and all this. And just, and, and for what? I mean, was it even worth it? No. They, 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 like, I'm tired of this shit. I mean, it's time for men to fucking wake up. And Barbarossa, you're an excellent part of this. You are a very important person in this. Uh, like I said, I feel like I cannot kiss your ass enough. Um, metaphorically, because uh, you don't live in my geographic area, um, but uh, I regard you as basically like a partner, a friend, a colleague, whatever, in this movement to wake men up and just, you know, it's like if women ain't going to get their shit together, they ain't fucking be on their own. I I'm, I'm tired of this. I got to be done with this shit. You know what I'm saying? I used to pedestalize women for decades and just sacrifice so much and Barbarossa you're right the stuff you say in your videos I've listened to a lot of them and you're right I collect all your stuff on an external hard drive and I distribute it amongst my friends uh, if your channel gets taken down you know uh, you know contact me some way and um, and maybe I can upload all your stuff back or send you like a DVD in the mail with all your video files back on there or whatever the case may be. Uh, I plan to teach classes using your videos in the future um, and uh, but not just you. Stardust, he's, he makes excellent contributions. Uh, so does Girl Writes What. Chapin, he's got, he's got some good stuff although I don't pay a whole lot of attention to him. <coughs> I mean, he, I mean he seems like a pretty cool guy, but, like, it just, that's not my area of interest. I'm only, like, you know, more toward the hardcore people like you, Barbarossa. Uh, I, I, I know you don't got a whole lot of time and all that, but you make great videos. And, but unlike you, dude, like, you and Stardust, dude, about, about your videos. I mean, like, just having a picture, a static picture for, like, the whole duration of the video in your voice. And I know why you do it. Because, uh, you know, I've done audio, video, engineering, and production, all that. I mean, I know why you do it. Because audio, cause, because what you want is to put the audio up there, but YouTube is a video format or a, a video-centric type of uh, website and all that. So you basically find a workaround to get audio up on there. Uh, but that cynical cynicism, that guy, he, he, does, a good guy. he, do, he does a good job because he switches the pictures around and all that. Uh, me and my colleague, the disposable human doing, um, we uh, we really influenced by you, but we're gonna we're gonna not just have static images, you know, like stationary, non-moving pictures for long periods of time, like you and Stardust do. Uh, no offense to you, Barbarossa, you're a great guy, you make great stuff. Um, I feel like I'm indebted to you, and all that is just like. A presentation format thing. I mean, it has nothing to do with what you say. It's just, I don't know, anybody who worries about screen burn, you know, on, on CRTs or anything like that, um, or just gets tired of a static image, you know, that's something to talk about. Um, let me check how much time I got on this camera. No, oh, I got nine minutes. <clears throat> Need to give me a better camera. <clears throat> All right. Um, me and my colleague, The Disposable Human Doing, we put some videos up on YouTube. Our first video was the, um, the analysis, the, the analysis um, of the uh, Kathy Tratola rape allegation. Now, that was, now, I was in that video, but 
the disposable human doing was not in there. Um, <clears throat> that was another friend of mine um, who, who's been through some bad experiences. I mean, he should know better. It's just he won't do. He doesn't have the discipline and the attention span and the focus like me and the disposable human doing do to actually really take in and analyze stuff. I mean. We feel like enough is enough. We need to, you know, I'm, I'm tired of the abuse. And it, and it is abuse. What women do to us is abuse because if we did the same thing to women, they would call it abuse. And we're engaged in warfare. And you know what? We don't need women involved in this. I mean, Girl Rights What is a great person who, who does some very good, respectable work. She's welcome. But that's because, like, just like Esther Villar does, Girl writes what pulls her own, pulls her own weight. <clears throat> I got a, a big list of of females that send me friend request friend requests on Facebook, and I just ignore them. I, I don't feel like my life has to revolve around a female. I just after the betrayal almost a year ago, and all that. Um, and I had to kick my former owner, you know, my, my first and only girlfriend, you know, the, the girlfriend that I got, oh, just right after I turned 30 years old, um, the one who stalked me for six months, as she describes it, uh, and, I, and she expected me to get flattered by it. <coughs> Kicked her out because for the, for the, most of the relationship I had to hear about, men were cheaters, you know, oh, it's ironic in how women, um, how women uh, project a whole lot. And that's what I noticed. That's why I really started to wake up is when almost about a year ago, me and my uh, colleague, the uh, Disposable Human Doing, right about a year ago, yeah, it was in October, I believe, um, of um, 2011, we started to wake up because how we were treated and a common experience regarding a girl um, he didn't get in as much trouble as I did because he didn't have as much to lose. But nonetheless, the same people, the same players involved, tried to come after him and all that. Uh, apparently, it's some love triangle thing with uh, a lesbian love triangle, and we didn't know these people were lesbian. But then, oh my gosh, a big room. Oh god damn. I mean, like, I mean, when you get blamed for starting a rumor, and 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 you find out like that you're innocent of starting the rumor because you were one of the last people to find out that all this shit that got started and all that oh because I liked a girl and she just so happened to find out about it but not just that her lesbian love master uh, found out about it and, th and this girl the lesbian love master was basically acting like a 25 year old dude who's got himself like an 18 year old girlfriend all extra you know stereotypically protective and all that but like this whole rumor got started well I mean it's like not even a rumor I mean they just too much public display of, of affection just right out in public I mean people are going to catch on and find out they're lesbian lovers I mean damn I mean <clears throat> I mean oh supposedly when two girls hold hands it doesn't mean that they're gay it, I mean lesbian which I don't have any you know, I don't hate gays or anything like that. I mean, it's just, I'm just saying, you know, it's like, so, and I was told that when two girls hold hands, it just means they're friends. Oh, but when two guys hold friends, it means they're gay. That's one thing. Or if a guy and a girl holds, friend, uh, holds hands, it means that they're intimate or whatever, because that's how, well, cheating gets started. Remember the whole Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart bullshit last year? And, um, uh, Anyway, I'm tired of the double standard, and that's what really woke up my me and my colleague, the disposable human doing, uh, about a year ago. And we study movies, we study them hardcore, uh, we are studying things, really analyzing. Really a lot like uh, Man, Woman, Myth, that guy had done. Uh, then we, uh, you know, started researching daddy issues. That brought me to the word misandry and some other things when I'd look up in uh, Wikipedia and other articles. And... <clears throat> And then I started just looking up Miss Andrew, this and that here um, on YouTube and all that. And I found, um, let's see, it was either your video, the post, uh, post feminism man, or Girl Writes What's video. Anyway, 
Girl Rights Wild was so hardcore, and I, I mean, I thought I was hardcore, but like, it was the video, um, um, about the disposable, um, uh, like, male disposability, um, and, um, but anyway, it just, I couldn't even handle it first. I had to, it took me like three or four times before I even really caught on. It's like, I was still I had these mangina tendencies, even though I was growing out of that rapidly. And then I watched her video and it's like, oh my gosh, she's right. I mean, it kind of hurts to it really process it, but she's right. And it just from there, it just grew rapidly. And uh, I've got so many stories. Uh, you're welcome to hear them if you want. But anyway, um, <clears throat> but um, yeah, all this shit went down in 2011, which is the year of Miss Andrew. That's the year of um, Catherine Q. Becker and all kind of Thomas James Ball. Yeah, I'm aware of a bunch of that stuff. Um, Barbarossa. I'm, I think I'm going to encode you into mythology. Um, and you're, you're going to be like this mythical hero character, um, just this, this, um, that brings people onto the path, or whatever, dude, but anyway, it's just to express the stuff, uh, I just want you to know, Barbarossa, I think you're a great person, I'm, I'm looking forward to working with you on projects or whatever, um, and I'm telling you, dude, people label you as some fucking woman hater, you know, um, misogynist, like extremist or whatever. They they're they're in for an awakening. Um, but anyway, um, I just want to introduce myself formally to you. I know we've we've chatted before and all that. Um, just keep doing what you're doing, and I'm going to make other videos, uh, more videos. We're going to experiment with different formats on the Validation Warfare YouTube channel. We're just now getting started, really, and we've been researching this stuff for a good year, and um, some of the stuff, we just can't be so open with it, because people just don't got a clue. I mean, you know, and we're looking for serious people, and that does not include women. Uh, this is not a political movement. This it has like nothing to do with politics or anything. I know Rocking Mystery loves to do that left-right paradigm stuff, but no, no. This is like more like psychology. Well, you know how it is. It's like this is how stuff like actually functions. Like it's a almost like it's a science or whatever. Anyway, I don't want to get into too much. I got a video limitation on this camera. Uh, I need to get a better camera in the future, but I just wanted to thank you personally, Barbarossa. You're an awesome person, and, um, yeah, just keep doing what you're doing. Um, that's all for now. I'm Manslave, and I run the Validation Warfare YouTube channel. Enjoy.